Hey, uh, so I created this uh, um, you know, script for Blender uh, where it can have uh, mm -hmm. shelves for uh, keeping your like minor scripts, you know, in production we have uh, lots of uh, scripts that we use daily uh, for modeling or rigging or anything, you know, just for uh, basic functions. And these scripts are less than 50 lines of code, so you don't really want them as add-ons with their own like, you know, shelves or whatnot. These are, and, you know, these are very small scripts that do like very, very uh, small stuff. So usually in my our 3 ds Max, you can just like get a script, drag and drop it to a, to a toolbar or a shelf and it just stays there, saves, and you can just click on that to run that. Now Blender doesn't have any of that. You know, Blender by default doesn't have that functionality. So most of the add-ons uh, is even if it's like doing very minor things, it's usually you know uh, like uh, it's either a shelf by itself or it's like an option that you activate using some shortcut keys and it's just it's too much uh, for minor stuff to do. So I created this uh, add-on that can store your own. Um, own scripts, you know, tiny scripts, you can just copy and paste it here and it will act as like a shelf uh, just like in Maya. Now uh, there, there's a few differences. Uh, right now I've only been using Blender for the last uh, one week so uh, I'm not very expert in it so maybe I missed something but right now um, uh, the option to drag and drop scripts directly into the shelf is missing so you have to basically copy it and then uh, paste it to create those uh, buttons uh, for running the scripts uh, the second thing is that you cannot edit the scripts directly from uh, the shelf uh, we'll get into that later on how you can edit them if you want to uh, but you cannot uh, edit them directly from the from the script uh, like you could do in my and max maybe i'll add that later right uh, so let's go and how about uh, how to install this. Now this program uh, depends on something called the Piper Clip module for Python, which is basically to uh, work with clipboards, right? You you copy something, you paste it, it needs Piper Clip, and that is not installed uh, by default on Blender. So the first time that you are planning to install this add-on. Uh, you will need to do a couple of things and only then you can uh, install the add-on and use it without ever going into the codes or without ever going into you know creating folders by yourself or maintaining all of that stuff right so let's get into how to install this and then we'll go into how to use it so go to this uh, link my github page and I'll link this down in the description as well and go into code then go into local, right? Download the zip, uh, the zip. Sorry, not the zip. Uh, download the zip from here, and you can uh, save it wherever you want, like on desktop. And uh, then you can close it, All right? Uh, there it is. And we'll extract it. Open it up. And you will see a couple of things. Uh, you don't need these two files, so you can just like delete them right away. And you have installed dependencies and you have shelf.py. Now this is a script that you only need once, you don't really need it. And this is the add-on. So what we'll do is we will open, for the first time you, what you need to do is you need to open Blender as an administrator. And I'll explain that in a while why you need to do that. So once it's open to to install these dependencies, the Piper Clip module, you run Blender as uh, admin. You go into scripting, then you click on open, and you go into wherever you know the the file that you downloaded is. It's right here. Double click it opens, and all it does it's it's installed this Piper Clip module into Blender Python, not the Python that is on the system if you have it installed. If you don't have it installed, it doesn't matter. Uh, it will install it in the system path for Blender's Python. 
and if you don't run your uh, Blender as admin, it will install it in a user folder, but then Blender does have no idea that it installed there, so it won't be able to call it later when you install the add-on, right? So to recap, if for the first time that you are uh, installing this add-on, only for one time only, uh, you open Blender as admin, you open this file and you click on run, and it will take some time, and that's it. It's run. Now you can uh, scroll it, then it's done. Then you can close it if you want, right? Uh, I don't have to save it. And then we can open Blender again, just as normally viewed. And this time we will install the add-on, right? So we will go to add-on here uh, on this drop down, uh, drop down uh, setting, install from disk. And then we'll go here. Uh, lower click this and it's installed now right it says uh, rev uh, 1.0 something 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 all right you can close this now if you open this uh, I and the end panel you see uh, a new um, uh, like a tab called shelf I don't know I, I don't, don't really know the terms for all of this stuff so I might be saying like a wrong thing but I just like you know you can see that new tab shelf right and it has these sub panels and right now it doesn't really have anything right it's just a script shelf it has add panels to it which will uh, if you click it it will add panels and that's it right you can't really expand it because there are no scripts in it right so let me i have some scripts uh written somewhere like normal scripts and uh, we will use those right so let's say we use like a script to create a cube. I mean, you know, you'd probably use something more more functional. Uh, you can create a cube from a uh, mesh. But we'll just use that as an example. So we'll come here. Uh, this is the viewport, All right? And let's say you write something. You write a script of your own, and uh, you know you run it. It's okay, you know, it, it creates this uh, cube, you can delete it actually. But you want this script to be just be able to run from the shelf itself. So you just select all, copy, and then you click this plus icon in the, in the panel itself, right? And this will ask you to create a new script name. So you create like create a cube for this one. And that's it. So anything that you copied before you clicking this plus icon is now the script itself. So when you click this, the cube appears. Right. Uh, let let's let's make uh, some more things like uh, you know uh, I don't know uh, hide three D three D cursor or something. So here's uh, you know it will hide this cursor um, in in the viewport. So if we run this, it, it hides that. Uh, oops. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. So you, you want this, you know, maybe in a separate button. So you will go here, you will uh, copy this, create, and uh, hide cursor. So, okay. And you see, it's hide cursor. And you can move them around if you want. Um, you can even uh, rename them. Uh, we'll get that to get get that to the bit in a bit later. So we'll add another panel, and we will call this, let's say, you know, uh, cube and cursor, right? And this this one has two scripts in it. This one is empty. So maybe we will add another one called, uh, you know, to hide the grid, and. Uh, Copy it, click on the plus, and uh, hide grid. Click it, and it's there. Now let's say you want to you want to uh, move this into the cube and cursor sub panel. So you click on the rename one, and then you can select from here where you want this to be. So let's just hold that, and now it's there. And you can always uh, you know arrange them and uh, you know 
just uh, rename them if you want in a height grid maybe two or something like that and then if you click it it, it does the function that you want it to, to be uh, so that's the basic uh, function you can uh, rename the shelves uh, itself you know empty class or you know hello world actually hello oh, that's not the spelling hello world mm, and as a sub panel and uh, then we'll write uh, and print uh, hello world copy it and uh, paste it uh, hello world and then uh, if you go into your console right um, you run this and you can see hello world there you can uh, you know print like a lot of stuff here import uh, oops wonder what happened there I must have done something what is happening uh, I have no idea what happened but uh, import something's happening over there on the seven three collections i mean i think it's keying everything i'm not entirely sure uh, but uh, i must have pressed some shortcut or something again as i said you know very new to blender so i don't know all the shortcuts uh import sys uh, for x uh, in um, sys dot path uh, print x plus And you can uh, use this to have like you know print your system paths and stuff like that if you want to. So we can just uh, sys path. And anything you copy, and when you create this uh, new script from here, it will uh, paste anything that you have copied just before that into the script itself. So let's uh, run this and check the console, and it will say, okay, you know these are your system paths, right? Now, oh, you have to close it from uh, here. Okay, so where where is it saving all of this uh, all of these uh, scripts, right? If you let's say you want to you want to change uh, you want to change like system path, right? You can rename it from here and you can move it into into different sub panels, but you can't really edit the script right from here. So to do that, you will have to go into your add-ons which is in app data I, I don't know how what it is in mac os or linux uh, in windows it's in app data roaming blender foundation and uh, you know uh, blender your blender version scripts add-ons and then it will be you can see that it will have um, a, a folder called shelf scripts inside it if you open that your um your your sub panel names will be the names of the folder so it does this all automatically so you don't have to really do anything now let's say you want to um oops this is this is not the folder yeah this is the folder um if you want to maybe go and change the system path uh syspath.py which is uh, this script syspath uh you just uh i'll just close this one now you uh, go here you double click it and uh, you can edit it you know we can add whatever you want um, print X uh, maybe I will do you know print meow meow save it and then if I were to go and run it uh, it will uh, do that, right? It will do the what, whatever you saved in the script right now. But do not change, like do not rename it, do not move it, do not do anything from uh, actually the scripts uh, folder because uh, it, it, all of the config stuff is saved into another file called config.json and if it conflicts, uh, you will have problems with, uh, with the add-on itself. So, you know, if you wanna move it to a different folder, delete it, uh, you can do that from here. Uh, you can even delete the whole sub panel uh, from here actually 
this will actually delete all of the scripts in the subpanel as well so you will get a warning before you delete them it says removing hello world subpanel will delete all scripts inside this panel uh, okay and it deletes that uh, as well so do all of this stuff uh, from the script uh, self itself uh, only do it uh, if you need to change uh, the contents of the file itself uh, do it from uh, this location actually I plan to add this function to the script shelf itself uh, in future but right now it's not there so that's a workaround mm -hmm. uh, yeah so that's it basically and you can just you know you can hide it whenever you don't need it um, and you can save whatever you want so to just save anything you know at all uh, you, you you write some script in a, in a new file you write whatever you copy it and you add a script from here right that's it uh, so thank you for watching and if you have any issues with the script or anything uh, please don't uh, forget to raise uh, an issue tab on the on, on the on github itself uh, and that's it really